how to fix Fortnite unable to sign to your account for PlayStation Network please try again later. If you're facing this issue, here is a video where I'll show you some simple steps how to fix this problem. First and foremost, we're gonna clear the cache. If you're in a PlayStation 4, turn off your console, unplug the power cord from the back of the console, wait for one or two minutes, plug the power cord back into the console, turn the console back on and then start Fortnite. If you're in PlayStation 5, hold the PS button on the controller, select power menu and then turn off your PS5, wait until the PS5 power indicator light shuts off. Press and hold the power button in the console until you hear second beep to enter safe mode. This should take you around 8 seconds. Connect your controller to the console while using the USB cable. Press the PS button, navigate to the clear cache and rebuild database option. Select clear system software cache. Select OK. Wait for the console to restart and then you can start Fortnite. Next step, what you have to do is. Next step, whenever you face any kind of issues on console where the network is involved, I highly recommend to change the network. Over here you're getting kicking out of the game. So what you can do is, whichever network you use, for example an ISP, just change it. The best thing you can do is to connect it to a mobile hotspot. So turn on a mobile hotspot, connect your console with that hotspot, launch the game, play one or two matches. I'm pretty sure it's going to work perfectly fine. After that, connect back your ISP or the internet service provider and then try your game. See if that helps. Next step, what you can try is transfer your game to an SSD on an external drive just in case to check whether it works. Once you have connected an applicable external drive, you will get a prompt to format it on the PlayStation 5. Head into the main settings and scroll down and open the device menu. Here, select the USB storage device, locate it, which is the newly plugged device, confirm to format as an external storage device. Make sure that you have a proper backup if you have something in the external drive. If not, you can continue. Now simply head to the storage option, the settings, into your main system storage location. Once in the application list, you can click on the option button and from here, you have to select Fortnite over to the external drive. It will take a bit of time in order to transfer depend on the total size. Next step, what you can do is, now we have to know that this issue is with Fortnite or with your PS5 console. For this, I would recommend you to have one or two matches in some other platform. The best thing you can do is to download the game on an Android device because the size will be less compared to other platforms. Download on your Android phone, just use the same account, sign in, try match make one or two matches. Just see if everything is fine, whether it's kicking you out. If not, the issue is with PS5 and not with Fortnite. So you can follow the steps. If you're still having the issue over there on the phone as well, then probably it's Fortnite issue. They will release a small patch and it will be eventually fixed. So you can wait a couple of hours or probably some days. They will release a patch and this problem will eventually fix. Next step, go to the settings and select system software update. If in case you have a latest update, make sure to download it. Before doing all these steps, make sure to download it. If let's say you have not downloaded the latest software, you may face these kind of issues. So make sure you have the latest version and then you try your game, see if that helps. Next step is to change your DNS server manually. For this, from your PS5 settings, navigate to network and then settings. Use internet connection and select your connection type if you're on Wi-Fi or on LAN. Select custom to manually configure the DNS settings. Under the DNS settings, you have to choose manual. For the primary DNS server, you have to put 8888 and the secondary DNS server is 8844. Now this is a Google public DNS server which may not work for all. I do have an alternative for it which is 11111001 which is a Cloudflare DNS server which is a bit more stable compared to the Google DNS server but you can use either of them and see which one fixes your problem. So that will be it for the video. Hope it helps. If it did, please don't forget the like button. If you're still having the issue, you can comment down in the comment section. That'll be it for the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.